Usch, kolla. Jag måste klippa av min tråd. Jag vet inte riktigt vad som har hänt. Mm, ah, ja. Strumpor. <laughs> vi är, eller vi ska till en garnbutik nu. Eh, väldigt spontant. Jag var inne på den här garnbutikens hemsida och såg att hon säljer ut eh, Sunday av Sunday Skal i någon typ av, eh, typ av lavendel ungefär. Jag sa till mig själv att jag var färdig med eh, lila, men det är det ju inte tydligen. Eh, det är, eh, oj, nu kan jag inte prata svenska heller. Vad va bra då? Eh, vänta. Jo, jag ska göra en tröja till min eh, kusins dotter Signe. Det har jag velat göra jättelänge. Jag skulle göra Sunday Bala Balaclava, Balaclava. Eh, ett tag tillbaka, men jag fattar inte mönstret. Och Ankers tröjan av Petit Nitt för småbarn har jag också velat göra då. Men det har inte blivit av, men jag vill verkligen, åh jag ser så satt klipp på Signe varje dag och jag bara jag sticka en liten, liten tröja, så det ska vi göra. Uh, ja. Garnbutiken ligger i Floda, vilket är typ hmm, minst en timme bort tror jag i alla fall. Så att eh, jag får åka lite och hon stänger vid sex och klockan är typ fyra kanske. Måste kynda mig, men jag har ingen bil just nu så jag får vänta ut lite. Eh, det är inte jättemysigt väder, jag kan visa. Oj, snön håller redan på att eh, smälta och det regnar. Så att, eh, det är inte jättekul. Och ni ser min mun rör sig konstigt så har min tandställning gått sönder. Aj, gått sönder så min läpp fastnar i den hela. Jag måste typ stå så här. Okej, okay? och hålla för lite. Um, ja, och förhoppningsvis ska jag stanna och köpa lite kaffe. För jag är jättesugen på kaffe. Uh, och jag tar nog med min... Nej, vänta. Min stickning som har fastnat här. Jag behöver bli klar och så har ni sett kanske hitta ett café och sitta och ja. Jag vet inte om jag sa det här, men nu pratar jag svenska för att jag snackade lite om det på min Instagram igår och anledningen till att jag en, alltså lägger upp här är liksom för Kalila, Melika. Jag vet inte, alltså <laughs> för det är jag ser deras liv varje dag så det är kul om de kan liksom få se mitt liv och de flesta jag har kontakt med, alltså jag har egentligen inte kontakt med någon svensk stickare, utan jag bara sitter och smykhållar på allas poddar. Men, eh, alltså, det är lite skönt typ. Så nu känner jag att jag verkligen kan vara mig själv lite så här när jag pratar svenska. För att det, det var lite skönare, jag var inte att tänka lika mycket. Men jag pratar väldigt fort, så att jag kanske inte kommer kunna texta allting jag säger. Men... Jag vet inte ens vad jag kommer använda det här klippet till, faktiskt. Eh, jag har ingen idé på någon video jag vill filma. Jag är inte jättesugen på att fortsätta vlogga. Det känns inte riktigt som min grej. Men jag kanske en gång i månaden gör en podd, podcast. Och sen vill jag ändå ladda upp någon till. Så jag får se om det här ens används. Och till Alexandra i framtiden. Jag hoppas att det här var lätt att texta, annars, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what, what to do, what to do. Let's go to your own store. I'm losing my voice, bye bye. Small change of plans, I decided to bring my Kalila bag instead, because I need to finish it and it's easier to knit on if I'm in a cafe than doing rib, 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 rib. Back and forth, back and forth, yeah, whatever. I have this next to me. I bought this at a secondhand store, a thrift store, a week ago. I wanted some art for my yarn room and I've printed out pictures of people knitting. And then I went to a thrift store and I saw this and I was like, oh my god, she's knitting! Wow! Four sock needles, four... But now I feel like it looks like she's doing something with a piece of meat. So I don't really know if she's knitting anymore. Look at these strange needles. That... Let me know what you think. Is is she knitting? Is she, um, what is she doing? 
if she isn't knitting, I'm I'm just gonna keep it that way. For me, if she's knitting, art is subjective. But it does look like ribs, right? I don't know. Anyway, 80 Swedish crowns. Maybe that's too much, I don't know. Let's go. If you saw my knitting vlog number three, don't look at it. It's in that video anyhow. There was a snowstorm. But today it's just raining and I'm so grateful that I can just sit down in my car without having to get stuck on the way and I mean there's still snow but I like how I said, oh we're gonna do I'm gonna talk Swedish, is that okay? But I just know future me will hate putting in so that many subtitles, so I'm just doing myself a favor. Let's go. I've said let's go four times. Let's actually go. trying for ages to get you guys to stand up. Thank you. I need Inga to do this. Listen to what I'm about to say in like five seconds. Not five. Here's what I bought. Money can't buy happiness, but it can buy yarn, which is kind of the same thing. I bought these. I hate the sound of metal needle. Sorry, it, it gets into my brain. But I need them for my... This, for the new client. Oh my god, I'm not used to moving. I bought these. The ones, hello. It's my first time trying lang yarns. You'll love it. You'll, you'll needle it. What's with all these puns? Hello, I watched that back and I realized I told Inga to listen up, so I need to tell them what I was going to say. I woke up this morning to a little notification. Knitting Traditions wants to send you a message on Instagram, and I thought it was a little scammy scam. It wasn't. She sent me a picture of her watching my podcast. I, try, I, I, I like to think I was chill, but I think I sent her a message back, which was like, Inga! Something, so... Yeah, thank you. I make such ugly hearts because I have the weirdest hands, but. And I wanted to finish this in January. So it's February 1st right now. And I was like, I need to finish this in January because I don't want to bring it into February Hello. since. Doing the neckline. It is the date. Ooh, how about you shut up? Why is my car making that noise? There we go. It is the day after going to the yarn store. It was a lovely yarn store. It was like, well, you saw it. It was like in a cottage, a red cottage. Very cute. She had a lot of sales, but I only bought three skeins of yarn. Very proud of myself. But then I came home and I realized I need some yarn for another sweater. And it was on sale at her store. So I need to go back eventually. But um, anyway. I am going grocery shopping today because I have this desperate need to feel like an adult at the moment. I am turning 21, I don't have a job, and by choice I shall say. I don't have a job and I don't go to school, I'm basically just knitting and thinking about my mental health. And I feel like that's kind of adult behavior as well but society doesn't view it like that so today we're going grocery shopping 
being responsible and I'll buy like vegetables and feel good about myself and I'm going to a coffee shop I, I, I really don't want to I I self isolate myself a lot I like being alone I like being at home as well but now it's just to a point where when I want to go out I don't do it because self-isolation it's a pandemic so I mean it's good yeah so I need to put myself out there and go sit down at a coffee shop and knit I forgot my petite knit bag yesterday with the, my Kalila bag in the car and it rained like crazy last night so I didn't go out to get it but I have it with me now gonna do some grocery shopping bring your bags for the environment don't buy new ones do you want to come along do you want to come out come with me let's go guys So I'm gonna do a voiceover over all of these clips that you're gonna see. This is on a Saturday, the 5th of February. February, still cannot say it guys, I'm sorry. I basically three weeks ago decided to take all of my knitting supplies out of my bedroom and putting them into a room in our house that we don't really use. I've been there for like three weeks now and I kept getting interrupted and the windows are very large in that room so people on the street would stare at me at any given time and I, I, I couldn't do it. So here is me dressed in a sports bra and a weird poofy dress living my best life and I didn't even think to record all of this until I had well, I, I had only like taken out the things from the other room and I had, uh, I organized my entire closet and I'm not a hoarder, but I do keep on to things as a memory all the time. So I had old shipping labels from Zalando from 2017 because for some reason I wanted to keep it as a memory. I don't, I don't freaking out. So it took me a lot of time to clean my room. It wasn't dirty, there was just a lot of things. Okay, luckily, the shelf that I bought a couple of weeks ago fit into this room as well. And according to me, it looks way cuter in this room than it does in my old. I love this. I love it in here. And then I just put in all of my yarn, but I feel like I've showed you guys this already when I bought the shelf and I basically have all of the same yarn so but you're still gonna see me do it I have way more space for more yarn so I feel like I need to buy it and I've actually already bought yarn online which is good because I have you're gonna see that in the lower shelf I have a lot of space for yarn well look at my dress poofy floof see there's no yarn in there Anyway, right, I bought a desk. I bought a desk. I saw it on the internet, saw that it was on sale, and I took my car there right away and bought it, and this is how it's looking. It could look cuter, but the thing is, it's so practical. I could block things on there, I can wind up my yarn, I can... I can do so many things. And the thing is, I added this entire table into my room, but somehow it feels bigger than before. And my room is pretty small, but I'm very happy that 
my chair fits under it perfect yeah and i've sat here for like three days now and i feel so productive i love looking out of the window and let me know if the woman is knitting or not on the painting because i don't know Hi guys, I have some questions for you. Just hold on a sec. I filmed this already like 10 minutes ago, but I was wearing different clothes and you could see everything. So we're doing it again in a red dress. I have been in this room, in this setup for a couple of days now. I love it. I want to start filming my podcasts here because it doesn't make sense for me to do it in the last yarn room when I have all of my things here and if I were to film my podcast here I could just grab and go grab and go from everything that I need this is option A because this is where I normally sit here's where my share always is do you believe in love after love yeah, this is where my share, I can't even, do you want to see what I have? Mm -hmm. I was going to buy a Lona record. They sent me, I'm not even making this shit up. Instead of Lona, the race blue banisters, don't look in my closet. They sent me <laughs> this one. And it's so funny. Yeah, I got to keep it. And they sent me the other one. I just, I think that's so funny. Anyway, sorry, I had, I haven't told anyone. I just needed to share that. Share. <laughs> I don't know why share is so funny. It's just, she's such a funny concept. This is the setup, setup number uno, setup number one. The problem I have with this is, here's my door. I feel like this is annoying because it's so bright let me know what you think option A option B let's go option B is something like this still sitting in my you know what I'm not even gonna say it I just I don't like my bed being in the background I feel like a teenager I should act my age something like that and here I have some options with hanging things. See, I hanged this bag for you. I don't know. It's the bed that is bothering me. And the lighting is pretty strange as well. Anyway, option B. The thing is, I want to have my shelf in the background. But this, this doesn't work. And then we also have the lighting from back here. This is option C, option D, something like this. I could put a lot of pillows over to this side, try to make it look like a couch, but I feel like this has the best lighting because I'm getting lighting from over there and over here on me. So I don't know, please help me out. I just, I really want to film in here, so thank you. This ended up being a vlog anyway. I said in the beginning that I don't want to do vlogs anymore. But this hasn't felt like a vlog. 
going to the yarn store in the beginning it was very spontaneous it was i decided to go like a couple of minutes after i looked up her website and then reorganizing my entire room and set up that happened like that as well i just started filming at some point and that was nice so i guess that is a vlog but i don't view it as a vlog and i don't want to call it that either so i might do something called like a week of knitting there's this youtuber i haven't watched her a lot yet i'm going to but i think she's called like cozy cardigans or something and i i've seen her do like january vlog and they're like an hour long yeah maybe instead of doing knit vlogs doing like a week of knitting where we do little things like this if you have better names more catchy names hit me up this is the uh, for now i actually really liked sitting here I'm gonna have to buy pants if, for future podcasts, so I don't... It is the day after. That's all I know. I don't have the date for you. I'll write it here somewhere. We're going back to Gontua, the yarn store in Fluda, because she had Tin Line on sale. And I didn't buy it because I didn't need it. But then when I got home, typical bliss, Tiffany Lou, I applied for test knitters and I applied. I don't know if I will get the appl application. I don't, I, I've never test knitted before, so I don't, I don't know the name for it. But even if I don't, I was looking through Ravelry last night and I could use Tinlina for the Sunday tea. I could use it for Ankesh so much Blue if I double strand it. There's something called Nordisk, Nordisk, Nordisk Somato. There's so many patterns I could use it for. And I love working with thick wool and things like that. But there will be a summer coming up. Summer is not about to arrive, but almost like in six months or something. So I will have to knit something for then. So I'll buy the yarn anyway. It is 25 crowns per skein, which is like $20. Nope. Mm -mm. $2. So 50% off. I'm buying it. It is, as you can see, very sunny today. Last time it was raining and snowing. There's no snow left. Very happy. I'm still waiting for my yarn to come. I have... A story I'm waiting for Team Silk Mohair as well in another package and that isn't arriving either and I get it it's a pandemic and I'm sorry for every I'm ungrateful for, the, for every service worker the post office but I just I need my yarn so. let's go to the yarn store again It is almost 6 p.m. and I have been editing all the time since I got home. It's not been a good time. My editing software, I use iMovie. I cannot stand using iMovie. There's so many things that I want to do. For example, fixing the audio. I love this camera. It's so easy. It I feel like it has good quality, but the sound is, I hate the, uh, I don't know if you hear it. And then me sometimes 
filming with my iPhone changes the audio. I just, I hope my videos aren't annoying to watch. Um, I know that I'm quite annoying, but uh, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna measure this together because I have not been knitting all day. I knitted two rows this morning, by the way. No, yeah, I did knit some, but not a lot. I feel like, I feel like I'm knitting and knitting and knitting and I'm not getting anywhere. I need this to be 48 centimeters. Let's see where we are at. I mean like pressing it longer and longer so that it, uh, let's not do that. It's not going to be accurate. Okay. I mean, it is 40 centimeters. I, last time I remember it being 37. So I mean, we're getting somewhere. <sighs> Since I did the neckline already and I finished both armholes. I don't think you saw the other one. We saw one of them. Since I did that, I only have to do the body now. This is broken rib. So you knit one round and then you do a rib row. I'm noticing that my rib rows go by faster than my knit rows. And I think it's because of motivation. That... <laughs> that I knit slower because I feel like, oh, well, after doing this knit row, I'm gonna have to do a, another rib row and I'm just gonna, I, I, I don't know how my brain works, but I feel like this is taking forever. But now that I know that I'm getting somewhere and I only have six to eight centimeters left, how much is that? Should we see how much it is? Okay, that is about 30 rows. That did not help with my motivation. It's not that I'm, that I don't want to work on it. I just feel like it's not even the 10th, it's the 8th. And I started this not long ago, but I feel like I've been working on it forever. Which is so strange because I don't know when I started it. Uh, last week maybe. I told you before and I know it's it makes no sense because I bought purple yarn two times in this vlog. But I just feel like I'm bored. I'm so excited for what I'm gonna make next. I should I should knit during this part so we get somewhere on this. I think I need to find, I've noticed that I work best on this or on any project when I don't feel motivated or when I just lose focus, that if I watch something, this weekend it was Russian Doll. I, I did not really like that show. So it was just on in the background and I knit through the entire thing in like one day because I kind of just got lost in the knitting. But the thing is, I usually watch good things like YouTube videos so I have to change YouTube videos all the time or I watch like a really good show like the Tinder Swindler documentary and I kept <laughs> not knitting just watching um, the, the show I don't know how focused I can be talking during this I bought some yarn the this weekend as you know I'm waiting for it to arrive one of them is I'm not gonna tell you what it is exactly but I'm gonna pair it with this yarn. This December, the 4th of December, I went to Fru Valborg. I love her. Um, I love her yarns. I also love her podcast, The Dye Pod. It's in English, so you can go watch it. She's a hand dyer in Sweden, in Iaqua. That is a couple of hours away from me. And she had open studio during December, a couple. And she had this my phone is ringing and she had this like little basket with yarn that only cost 100 crowns which is insane because one of these is usually 230 I think so I bought these it's her mohair fuzzy mohair 
in the color Pond. Yeah, I've showed you guys this before. I forgot, I'm sorry if you already know about this. But I decided to buy a lighter yarn, I think. I hope it's lighter. We'll see it tomorrow, hopefully. Because the yarn will hopefully arrive then. Um, I it, it has to be a match because I... I'm not going to send back the other yarn because I'm going to start this right away and I'll make the Novice Cardigan Chunky Edition with it. And I just, I'm thinking about this project and the caramel sweater and I'll have so much Sunday yarn. I'm having so much knitting motivation so it's not me not having knitting mojo. I'm just kind of not so excited about this project but I need to finish it. So yeah, and since I only now have the body left and doing the ribbing on the bottom, I can be done with it, but it's so hard to finish a project even when you have so little left to do, when you have no motivation. So, yeah. And I'm wearing the cardigan that I tried to make for Malika as a birthday gift. I think I killed the yarn because this is drops air but it's like rustic and I think I accidentally killed it while blocking it two times in a row. I need to make a cardigan. When I started out crocheting, when I started out all of this, I made cardigan after cardigan after cardigan because that's all I wear or used to wear. I used to wear dresses and I put on a cardigan. Um, but just with knitting, I don't want to... I've only had bad experiences. The first thing I knit was a cardigan and it didn't turn out well. Then I made this, didn't turn out well. But I feel like I really like the look of this chunky one and that won't take me too much. I have the novice cardigan pattern, the mohair edition, but I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna work flat for that entire thing. I have warmed up to working flat because I need to do that. I, I cannot, if I like cardigans more than sweaters, I need to start learning how to work flat. It's just so much more comfortable doing it in the round and I think a lot of us feel that, that way. But working this flat, I enjoyed way more than knitting it in the round. So I'm gonna work flat again make a cardigan, hopefully it'll turn out nice. This color is very, not my style, but what was I supposed to do? I bought it, it was a hundred crowns. Sorry. Anyway, like I said, I was editing before this. What I've done this week is after a day when I've been filming, I've been putting it into iMovie, I've been editing some things on it and then I made the film the next day and then I put that in and that's helped a lot not to have a bunch of clips to add in but I just oh, I get so tired of listening to myself because maybe like a five minute section is me just talking for at least double that amount of time and it's often me having to edit out um um anyway anyway I use a lot of filler words and then when I try to edit those things out, I get tired of the way I talk. This is, became very depressing. I just, sometimes I feel like I edit out too much and if you have anything you've thought about while watching my videos, just don't say that the audio is bad because I know <laughs> it's bad. But if there's anything you think that I should change that is really bothering you, I, I'd love to know. Because I edit my videos, I watch them through a couple of times, upload them, and then I never want to see them again. <laughs> so, if there is something I fucked up on, basically, just let me know. I can take criticism. I can't, but I'll let, I'll let you do it. But yeah, see you next time with a yarn haul. Yes, I'm with you, Inga. What the hell?
Good morning, Vietnam. What the fuck? It's 9 a.m. I've been up since 4 a.m. 5 a.m. Something like that. And I slept all the day yesterday and I didn't get a lot done on this. I did do a couple of rows. I reached 45 centimeters of the body and then I decided to start the ribbing because no patience. But then I only have this much yarn left and I need that for ribbing and the Italian bind off. So it was a good thing actually that I didn't um, that I didn't do more of the body. But I've done two centimeters of the ribbing this morning and I'm gonna keep going. I need to add this in. So I'll be finishing this in this video and I'm very happy about that. The yarn haul that I've been wanting to do for you guys this entire week, I don't know what's gonna happen because the Postnode app told me that mm, Honey, your yarn is delayed. Your package is delayed. So, because I'm thinking of ending this video today and finishing editing, 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 editing. Why can't I talk, guys? Editing this tomorrow and posting it this weekend. Because I really want you guys to see the yarn that I bought and us doing a swatch together with the for the chunky cardigan and see how it turns out i think that would be fun but it might happen it might not we'll see but at least fuck off we're gonna try it on this the friday sip over after i've finished it but i'm not gonna show you how it looks on blocked in this video because it's not gonna have the time to dry before i post this but i'll post pictures on instagram with it on and then i'm gonna give it to my aunt because this is a gift it's not for me and then i also by the way i woke up to an email saying i got the test knit thing i'm very happy about that so i'm gonna be test knitting from now on as well and I don't, I've never tested it before, so I don't know if I can like film me doing it. Obviously not sharing the pattern, but like me working on it, I don't know. Cause I'll have to go to a yarn store named uh, Stina Maria to buy 2.5 millimeter needles. Cause I realized I only have 2.75, not that, so. We're gonna do that next week. I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna work on my chunky cardigan. So that would be fun if you guys saw that. I don't know what I'm doing. Material girl. Anyway, before this video is over, I wanted to read you guys something. I got a message from On Ravelry. <laughs> it says. I just happened to find you on YouTube, then I found your Ravelry, I hope you're doing well and that this isn't weird. It's not weird at all. I wanted to let you know that your channel has made me laugh and I love your aesthetic. Thank you. What aesthetic? I don't know, but thank you. But then they added a message in parenthesis that made me laugh so much. And I also hate men. <laughs> Thank you, we're in this together. Keep up the great work and thank you. Thank you, you made my entire morning. <laughs> and I can't figure out how to reply to you because I keep pressing the reply button and nothing happens. So this is my reply to you. Thank you so much, that made my day. Let's actually knit, I need to focus. to clean my room and I ate, I, I ate some lunch the yarn is uh, so annoying it's, it's sticking to itself it's doing everything I don't want it to do 
but I'm gonna try to zoom through this right now. This is how much I have left. But my package, my yarn just came in. See you in two minutes. <laughs> I'm so fucking excited. It took me like 30 minutes to figure out the lighting. Does this work for you? Good enough for me. So, I don't know, I've been, while I've been editing the video, I've been removing a lot of things I've talked about. So I've filmed way more than what I'm keeping in. So I don't really know what I've told you guys. So I'm just gonna say everything I wanna say. And if I'm repeating myself, it's gonna have to be like that. What? What's this not? Hello? So basically, the blue yarn is gonna be for the novice cardigan. One, two, three, four, five, six of number 17 drops air. Why is, it, why is it so hard for Scandinavians to say air? Air? I've seen people say ad. <laughs> drops air in number 17. Jeans blue. Jeans blue. It's very blue. I feel like I've seen Kalila or someone use this before. Let's go and grab the mohair and see if it's a good fit just from looking fuck so what i wanted that's what i i'm not gonna tell you where i got the yarn because i feel like every single time on their website when i see the colors they're not the same in real life this one was way lighter so i because when you pair mohair i feel like with this Friday slipover, for example, it's a lighter mohair. And I feel like you can... It looks like kind of muddy. And I feel like when you use a darker mohair and lighter yarn, it looks better. So, as you can see, it kind of looks darker than this, but it's not. It's lighter. I have... And this completely completely different shades can you see that oh, they look exactly the same on here but this one is more green in real life we're gonna need a swatch as soon as i'm done with um the friday slip over i had no idea that i would actually receive the yarn today it just kind of arrived so this is gonna have to do with uh, what I just told you about darker mohair. This is for the caramel sweater. I hate when yarns have this. I just I want a pretty skein, please. I was looking around at Sunday yarns because the caramel sweater calls for mohair and sunday and they have one that is light beige but because i didn't trust this website's color i don't know i didn't know if it's gonna if it was going to match the mohair that i've already bought it's this one that i showed you in the last video it's a very very light beige like the camera doesn't even want to pick it up so I didn't because I don't want a lighter mohair I was afraid that the beige Sunday would be darker than this so I was looking at the colors Petit Net has for the Sunday yarn and they only had the white one but it's like a natural white is the camera gonna do this to me? I'm gonna freak out. Yeah, I'm gonna put a video over it with how it looks. So it's gonna be something like this. And I'm thinking it will turn out kind of like the marble sweater. Like this, a little marble effect. I'm hoping for that. Or I'm gonna show you a picture of Kalila's Sunday sweater. 
that we made at the same time and she had white yarn kind of like this and she had a peachy mohair and it made the sweater kind of like a gold color or like a warmer white very pretty very pretty indeed so that's what I'm thinking this will do hopefully maybe we can make a swatch today as well I'm not I don't do swatches I do not do gauge swatches but I'm gonna do one in the round for the test knit that I'm gonna do next week and I don't know I feel like it's kind of just cute to have like a little swatch as well and like save them because I have this knitting journal I'm, I'm gonna show you that in the podcast or the next video my knitting journal but it would be cute to like in the same way that I save yarn and put them in my journal it would be cute to like save swatches of projects that I've made and I'm thinking that that will motivate me to do gauge swatches now I just want to do swatches. Now I don't want to finish this, okay? We're gonna finish the Italian bind off, try it on, block it, and then do swatches. Oh, this video will be long. It is very short, very short indeed. I've weaved in these, it's just keeping them longer since it's gonna stretch a lot when blocking it. It's pretty short, but I feel like these Mons or Henry. I just made that up. I haven't named my boobies. I I would take name suggestions though. That would be kind of cute. Knit and pearl. <laughs> Sorry. Um, knit and pearl here. I feel like makes this smaller than what it actually is, because I can feel them pressing out the fabric. So. I think it'll be fine for my aunt. I'll just block it a lot. I will stretch it out lengthwise. It's very comfortable. I can't wait to make my own, but with uh, maybe a bigger size, so it's a bit oversized. I don't know, but I'm very proud of all of this. Look at the decreases. Look at the pearl edge, the decreases over here. Yeah, let's block it. Knit and pearl, ready to go. I don't need name suggestions. That's what we'll call them for now. Block it, block it, block it. You're just gonna have a little bit of aloe vera in there. I've already done a blocking guide on my in my first video. Wait a sec. I've only I've already done. A blocking guide so this is not gonna be it I know this is for using in a machine but it works so Milo. I told you this in the first video but I usually let it stay in the water for a long long time I feel like the first time I blocked something I only did it for 15 minutes and I didn't notice a difference and then I forgot a sweater once for like two hours and that was the softest thing I've ever felt in my entire life, so... I don't know if you can let things stay in water for too long, but I usually go for... This is my rule. Petite Knit said on her Instagram to let, let it stay there for as long as it takes to drink a cup of coffee. And when I drink coffee... I drink it for 20 minutes, then it turns cold, so I put it in the microwave, like, at least one time. And so, so it takes me about 40 minutes, and then I have to get up and get towels and things. So it usually stays in the water for about an hour. Coffee time! One thing I also do is that I weave in my ends but I let them stay long and then I cut them short after the project is dry. This time I kept my ends very long though, since this, this is supposed to stretch a lot, so yeah. While the coffee is boiling, brewing, 
I don't know. We're gonna... I have so much to clean up. But you know what? Trash. Let's do this. I always have issues with this. So just from sheer bad luck. Fruvalborg's mohair is so fussy. It's insane. Do you see this? It's like sticking to itself. Hold your thumbs for me. Hold your thumb. I know it's easier to... Oh, this is so twisted. It's actually insane. I have a feeling this will take me a couple of hours. Because <laughs> it's sticking to itself and I think I twisted it. How the hell? That's the coffee. I always have a hard time figuring out which one to use. This one seems okay. It's going well, but I'm gonna sit down and drink my coffee for a sec. The perfect milk coffee ratio. Yummy. Hard. Wow. Weird. Let's do one of these. I kick up all my yarn. I feel like it's way easier knitting like that. I don't have the time for this. I'll... You know what? We're not doing a swatch. We're starting right away. I'm a busy woman, you know? I, um... I have too much to think about to do a swatch, at least for this. I'm gonna try not to swear, but holy... Whoa, why does this look so good? You can tell where the mohair is, right? There. But that looks good, I did not expect this. There's a huge difference to turn into this. <gasps> It looks good, right? <gasps> a win for the gays on a Thursday. Wow, what a day. I'm gonna go grocery shopping before the sun goes down because I'm a really good driver when it's dark, but I'm not in the mood for that. So I'm just gonna go and buy some stuff, open a Coke Zero. I'm so happy about this. What do I look like in all this? Whatever. Just got home. I'm gonna give you my biggest tip for keeping Knitting Mojo up. This slipover took me less than two weeks. I think I started it on a Friday two weeks ago and it's Thursday night so we managed to get it under two weeks. It was done on four millimeter needles. I love four millimeter. I definitely feel like already with these six millimeter, my hands hurt way more than they do with smaller needles. But I was losing motivation at a point there. Especially since it's not mindless knitting. It was not difficult by any means, but it was just... <sighs> mm. And then, when I do a sweater that's just stuck in it, I can lose motivation because I do the same thing over and over and over and over. 
and I'm definitely not a patient person. So I don't know why I love knitting. It's kind of strange. I don't have patience for anything. So it's very important for me to switch things up so I don't lose motivation. And at a lot of points when I'm at the end of a sweater or a project, I'm like, I'm never gonna knit again. Why have I made like an Instagram account? I'm gonna quit today. And then I finish the thing and I'm like, ooh, can't wait to cast on the new thing. And now, going from 4mm to 6mm, I did a couple of rows I showed you. I went to the grocery store, came home, did two rows, and now I'm done with the ribbing. Compared to this morning when I did the ribbing for hours. And now I'm really excited to just zoom through this yolk. Through this egg yolk. So my biggest tip is if you do a project in gray on three millimeter needles, the next project should be a yellow chunky cardigan. <laughs> Does that make sense? Switching things up. That's really helpful for me because if I don't get like patina it, love her. It's beige, beige, gray, white, and amazing colors. It's henna, right? If I were only knitting in basic colors, I would die. Life would be so boring. Yeah, basically, TED Talk. Where's my beep, beep, beep? Next slide. Switch things up. Next slide, this is me ending the video. I'm just gonna be knitting on this. I'm re I really want to do a swatch with the Sunday yarn and the beige yarn, but I'm gonna show you that in my podcast. I'm actually, I might do another one of these videos next week. We'll see. I'm just very nervous about this video because when I posted on my Instagram that this video was 35 minutes a couple of days ago, People were like, longer, longer. <laughs> and I feel like there's a fine line between something being too short and too long. I love long videos. I, I just, I'm, I'm hoping you guys will like this. And I'm going to be, be spending the entire night editing and tomorrow as well. Because even though I've been doing a lot of editing, I've been, yeah, there's just a lot of extra work to be done. So thank you guys so much for watching. Alexandra, Alex, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, Daddy also works. God. You can find me on Instagram at Alexandra Scarn. I'm trying not to update as much as I do on my story. I was that annoying 16 year old kid who would post on her Snapchat for like 10 my entire snapchat story would be like at least 10 minutes and i'm trying not to get back to that point so but i post a lot on there uh ravelry i don't do a lot there i do have a notebook i have my little projects in there if you're curious about what i've done and if you like this please say so i appreciate all of your comments i cry a bit every day that's a lie but sometimes i cry I'm gonna end this off with my favorite TikTok because this has been my favorite TikTok since I downloaded the app in 2019 and no, no other TikTok has made me laugh as much as this one and I can't explain why. So I thought we would end off on a good note. Peace and love, peace and love. Bye.